we are going to proceed with a, um, with a paper made by colleagues in Belgium, uh, Clément Dutrois, Pierre Diombreu, uh, Edouard uh, Lorfevre and Lucas Eketer uh, have uh, submitted a paper uh, that uh, is entitled Statistical Process Control and Maintenance Policies for Continuous Production Systems Subjected to Different Failure Impact Models. And again, this paper is a review paper and we are interested to see the results of this group of authors. Hello everybody, I'm Clément Dutour from the University of Mons in Belgium and today I will present my paper called Statistical Process Control and Maintenance Policies for Continuous Production System Subjected to Different Failure Impact Models Literature Review. So for the industrial context, the quality has become an important strategy for competitiveness for companies because the improvement of production quality decreased the, num the, the unit cost because there, are, uh, there is less scraps and so the non uh, conformity percentage decreased. The consequence is by uh, applying uh, preventive method we can save uh, a huge part of the production cost we have also a double link between maintenance and quality because maintenance action improves the quality of the production and also the quality control can act as alarm to trigger maintenance action so this is the reason why we want to optimize both together the main objective of this paper is to propose a methodology to optimize uh, maintenance and control chart for a continuous production system and so to find the optimal value for uh, the maintenance period of the sampling parameters and the control limit and so we will create a model and the first step is to perform a maintenance uh, literature review to understand the uh, models for modeling production system and special attention will be uh, devoted to uh, the failure impact models that's to say the way a failure modifies the monitor indicator and the final goal is to reproduce a faithful model for the weight system and optimize it. So the first step in the literature review is to identify the quality indicator which is the most important uh, features for the customer and its measurement and so uh, in the literature review we will see that the quality indicator is often modeled by an normal law and the uh, function, the distribution function is given in slide 4 and we have to know that the real uh, mean, mu and the real standard deviation are estimated for uh, the normal conditions to obtain this law. For the failure simulation, the most frequently used reliability law is the variable law, which can represent uh, various mechanical behavior. And we have two parameters, beta and eta, and the cumulative uh, distribution function is given in slide 5. And to obtain the failure time, we will use a Monte Carlo simulation. For the failure impact model, we have to uh, model the impact of the failure on the quality indicator and so this relation between failure and quality indicator is very important for the optimization of the control and strategy because the control chart, the optimal control, control chart, it will not be the same. And it's not very developed in the literature and the question is we have a production system that produces items characterized by a normal load and then we have a failure, but what happened after the failure? How is the quality indicator change? And so there are three different models conventionally used in the literature. The first one is explained in slide 7. So of the first model is a displacement of the mean of the quality indicator. So we have a normal indicator until the failure time and then the mean is changed to obtain a different quality indicator. The second model is a linear drift in the quality indicator as explained in slide A. And then we have a displacement of the mean and a drift of the standard deviation explained in slide 9 and after the failure the, the change uh, uh, the, the, the mean and the standard deviation, deviation are changed. New failure impact model can uh, be created by any combination of modification in the mean or modification in the standard deviation. For example, we can use non-linear 
drift such as parabolic, exponential, polynomial drift and this drift can have a physical meaning related to a given phenomenon or not and the chosen uh, failure impact model will be the one that best suited suit the uh, real system data and for a given system it's important to know how the quality indicator is impacted because the efficiency of the control chart will be different Stochastic processes, we have also uh, the possibility to use these processes to, to uh, optimize preventive maintenance because they, they can model the degradation and so they can be used to model the degradation of the quality uh, of the production. And so we will use gamma processes for their monotonic evolution which seems better for modeling uh, a quality indicator. So, the stochastic process uh, that follows a stochastic gamma process is defined uh, in slide uh, 12 with two parameters, the shape parameter and the scale parameter. And this stochastic process is char characterized by positive increment, which can uh, be used for, to model uh, degradation. And so an example is given in slide 13 with different uh, evolution for gamma processes. For the quality control, we have four different charts used in the literature, the mean chart, run chart, the expansion, the weighted moving average chart, the cumulative sum chart. And so for the Shua chart, we have the mean chart which, for which the indicator is the average of the sample. The control limits are given by equation in slide 15 and we have also the run chart with a quality indicator, uh, which is the range, that's to say the, the difference between the maximum value and the minimal value. And so for the control limit are uh, obtained with tabulated coefficient for this run chart. The exponentially uh, moving average is a chart that, that consider the previous measurement and so the indicator is defined in slide 16. And so uh, we have uh, lambda, which is the coefficient, uh, the weighting coefficients, which allows to give less or more importance to the previous uh, measurements. And the control limits are also given with some tabulated coefficients. For the cumulative uh, sum chart, it's a chart with which takes into account all the samples collected and so the uh, quality indicator is given in slide 17 and we have uh, different parameters in this chart. The particularity of this chart is that there is no uh, control limit and so the, the interpretation of an out of control is obtained using uh, the slope of the plot. For this literature review we have some, uh, some uh, limitations and so the first one is that in conventional preventive models we don't we don't integrate the quality control so for the uh, use model we will integrate the quality control in the maintenance decision uh, secondly we have when we have a model that deals with preventive maintenance and statistical process we rarely integrate the, uh, the, the process variable that affect the production in terms of quality and so in the proposed model the failure impact model is known and allows to quantify the quality loss. In the literature review when we have a description of a failure impact model they are usually used so it's a mean jump, a mean drift and so uh, the integration of gamma processes is more realistic and allows to model uh, various uh, quality degradation uh, for a uh, uh, given system. And in the literature review, we we have seen that it doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't exist uh, a model that by the data analysis allow to simulate the behavior of, of production system with both these uh, together. 
So for the model, we have uh, a production system, a continuous production system. So we have a production seven days a week and 24 hours a day with a constant production rate grow. Uh, the reliability law is known, beta and eta are given, and also the cost of non-production. And this system in normal condition produces some product characterized by a normal law. Uh, okay. And if everything uh, is normal after um, a time period so we have a preventive maintenance that uh, takes a time t2 um, yes and during the production in fact we have also the quality control that allows to know if the system is in degraded state in fact when we have a failure the system goes through a degraded state and uh, produce more non-conforming items and so the quality control is able to know if the system is in control and then the production goes on or if the system is out of control and when we have an out of control signal we uh, perform an inspection that allows to confirm or not the failure if there is no failure the production goes on if there is a failure we perform a quality maintenance with as a time t3 and for the inspection, we have a time yes, a T1 and different cost C1, a CI, C, CQ for the inspection and the quality. So for the methodology, we have to, to uh, define the system with all this data. We have to uh, select a failure impact model, select a control chart and a maintenance uh, selection, a maintenance period. Too. And so after that, we can uh, simulate the production and calculate all the costs to obtain the total cost. And so the best maintenance policy too is the, the maintenance period that minimizes the total cost. And so we can obtain, obtain it easily. After that, we can change the control chart parameter or change the control chart. And uh, we can obtain the best a maintenance period and the best control chart for each failure impact model by minimizing the total cost. So a short example is given in slide 22 and so we uh, we define the problem with some data. I will not explain all of them but we have the, the data for the system, the production system for the reliability low for different time due to uh, maintenance for example. And then we have uh, the definition of the failure impact model with a mean drift, a mean displacement, a mean displacement, and a standard deviation drift. And we will use different control charts, one mean charge, run chart, a WMA, a WMA chart, a cosm chart, etc. And so the first result are the hourly cost, the number of non detection and number of water salary for each situation. And we see in this table that for a mean displacement, the mean chart is well suited and allowed to minimize, to minimize the cost. And we have no uh, non detection. For the mean drift, the best chart is the EYMA chart. And for the mean displacement and the standard deviation drift, the L chart is well suited. That's logical because this chart is a dispersion chart. For the conclusion, we have a literature review to identify the different techniques that exist uh, for modeling uh, uh, production system. And we have a first model for optimization of maintenance and quality control for continuous production system. This quality control uh, parameters are fixed and the maintenance periods is optimized in the numerical example. It's allow, it allows a, posi a possible comparison between the different charts and uh, we can detect the, uh, all the, the problems. We have different parameters that are calculated, number of force alarm, number of non-destruction of the failure, uh, availability. In perspective, we can integrate new failure impact model in the numerical example, for example, gamma processes. We can optimize each parameter using genetic algorithm. algorithm. 
may be integrate imperfect maintenance or opportunistic maintenance, modify the denom quality cost in a constant cost, for example. So, thank you for your attention, and please, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you, Clément Dutrois, for doing the presentation uh, of this review of statistical process control uh, methods in here. We're now trying uh, to get uh, Clément Dutrois um, live here on the, uh, on the stream. Hello, so this is Franz Dietrich from uh, TU Berlin, uh, SERP E Global Web Conference. Uh, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Hello. Yeah. Thanks for being with us and thanks for taking the time for the question and answers. Um, yes. The paper that you have presented uh, contains um, a lot of uh, conceptual and mathematical uh, framework. And uh, the viewers might want to know uh, more about what is the application context to which this method will be helpful. Can you tell us more about this? In fact, this paper was written for uh, an in industrial context. We, we have, in fact, uh, industrial partners, for example, in the uh, automotive uh, industry with continuous production system. And in fact, the idea is, was for partners to optimize their maintenance and their quality control on their uh, production system. And so this first study was, uh, was made for, for understanding the, the different method, method and methodology uh, to model a production system. And, and so uh, this, this was the, the idea of this paper. Okay, so how much did you have to remove from that specific example in order to get a grip on the problem, to, to be able to simulate this? How close is that to the reality that you have found in place at that customer? So, for, for the moment, it's just the, in the paper, it's just a, a model, a global model, to, uh, with not, not really a, a direct uh, link with the, the industrial uh, uh, application. But for the industrial application, we, we still have much work to do because we have to collect some data uh, concerning uh, the, the failure history, for example, to obtain the reliability level of the system. And then we have to know the quality indicator and, and also the way the failure uh, influenced the, the quality indicator. So there is still much work to do and after that we can apply uh, the, the model and the, the, the methodology to the industrial uh, problem to optimize the maintenance and the quality control for this customer. Okay. How hard would that be to transfer this to, to other industries? Other examples that, uh, that that you consider in your uh, in your specific project? Yes, yes, we have this uh, this partner in the automotive uh, industry, but we have also partners in the railway uh, application, for example, for the optimization of the the railway track. And we, I think we can apply this kind of method in this context, even if it's quite different because it's not a continuous production system. It's uh, the maintenance of, uh, of railway tracks, mm -hmm. but it's still uh, yeah. possible. You're, uh, you're using the, the expression of uh, continuous production systems. What is uh, so important for your method that the production system that you consider is a continuous production system? Hello, can you hear us? Hello, okay, we can hear you again. Um, so what is, uh, how important- Sorry, there is a, a poor quality of the Okay. I, I can't hear you. Can no. you repeat the question? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, how important is, is it for your method that uh, the production system that you analyze is continuous? Yes. Yes, it's a continuous production system. No, but what is, what is, how is, uh, why is that so important to have a continuous production system uh, for your method? Is it also applicable to discrete uh, production systems, for example? Here the okay, so it seems we have technical problems uh, right now. The connection is uh, is lost somehow. Um, okay, we will uh, we will need to end that uh, the session right now. I'm sorry for that uh, that we didn't we couldn't discuss the the last question anymore. Uh, thank you.
uh, for joining the question and answer session. I hope you can hear me right now. Thanks for being with us and uh, goodbye. See you, see you for the next time then. I hope you stay with us in the YouTube stream. Thank you. Sorry for the problem. So, goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. So this was the paper about statistical process control and maintenance policies for continuous production systems subjected to different failure impact models uh, by colleagues from uh, Belgium.